they'll be coming for you next. Hey everybody, this is Michael with Asymmetrical Preparedness. If you think that the SS, I, I mean FBI, will raid such a high profile person, such as they did, and you don't think that there's an agenda behind it? Political agenda? Psh, yeah. Okay, some people are saying, well, what if there's legitimate criminal activity? Okay, so go raid the houses of every single past president in modern history, because they're all criminals. Guarantee they've all done and are engaged in some form of criminal activity. No, that's not what this is about. This is about keeping him out of the next cycle. This is about keeping discrediting him and not allowing him to be involved. Why? Because they know. They know what's going on in this nation. They know that if he were to be involved in the next cycle situation, that he would win. And they know that they got away with cheating last time. But they would have to cheat on a scale so large this next time that there was no way they could get away with it. So they have to discredit him and everybody else. And I'm not saying he's the savior. He's not. He did some decent things, but he's not the answer. The answer is we the people. We are the answer. We have to step up and fix the situation. This is all an agenda. This is all, you see it building and building and building. What did that organization, the SS, um, recently, what were those leaked documents? What are we classified? What am I classified now as? You see the agenda? And you don't think they're going to come for you next? You think they're willing to knock down somebody like him or try to knock down somebody like him? And that's a big target. That's a difficult target. You don't think they're going to come for easy targets? and step this game up, they want a civil war. And they probably want to speed up the process to get it going now, prior to midterms, because they know that they need to stir stuff up and get us, our side, the side I guess I most closely associate with, they want us to start it. Because they know that the red wave is coming. And they know that if that happens, then their side might be the ones starting it. And they don't want that. They want to paint us as a bunch of bad guys, a bunch of crazies, a bunch of wackos, a bunch of deplorables, and have us be the bad guys. Well, we need to make sure we don't play into that game. But we also need to make sure that we're ready. This is why I talk about all the time, preparedness, training, equipment, tools, seeds, all these kind of things. If you don't think, or if you think they're not going to come for you or me, that would be a great oversight and a large underestimation of the adversary. Mike Glover on Fieldcraft Survival Channel knows personally his organization was called out specifically in those leaked SS documents. Watch his video. Subscribe to him. He's got a lot of good other content also. Lots of good stuff there. Um, Fieldcraft Survival Channel, huge. I mean, if you if you are here watching me, I'm sure you already know of them. I'm tiny compared to compared to that channel, but anyway, I want my voice to be heard. Also, this is these are challenging times, and I think it was the the roaming prepper put up a rant. Uh, it's the only it's the only one I saw about the uh, the SS raid so far, um, but <laughs> calling out people. And uh, amen, brother. I, I, I get it. I understand the, uh, I think it was him. Like I said, I hope I'm not, you know, t 
talking about the wrong the wrong channel, but um, how people are going to continue to sit on their rears and do nothing, and that's status quo. Uh, that's true. People will, um, but right now that may be the best because, like I said, we don't want to be the ones starting this. We don't want to be the ones um, sparking the fire. want to be. Now let's talk about that for a sec. I'm not saying we shouldn't be. I'm not saying we can't. I'm saying might not be the best idea. What I suggest doing is continuing to prepare and continuing to train, 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 train up your capability. <clears throat> Equip yourself with the best force multiplying items that you possibly can. Night vision, armor, good tools. Tools that are set up in such a way that they are much less likely to fail. They are good, solid, reliable platforms. That's important. And don't forget those seeds. Lots of seeds. The side with the most seeds usually wins. And or the most manpower. The ability to put seeds down range historically has been the side that wins. But I'm not advocating for anything like that there probably will become there probably will be a time and a place for that but in this unprecedented ss raid on a individual's property such as it was that's never happened that i know of in my lifetime no law enforcement agency has ever raided the house, and you don't think other po other ones, other people in that line of work don't have dirt on them? Shoot, that's crazy. There are some people that are so dirty, so scumbag douchebags out there. Yeah, it's pathetic. Anyway, we know this is politically driven. We know that this is just a ploy to discredit him or get some legislation in place so that it... Um, it uh, makes him ineligible because they know that they can't cheat on that scale again. But beyond that, let's talk about these leaked documents. And I've already talked about that a little bit, but the classification of certain group of individuals as basically bad guys, public enemies, Funny thing is, is, those are the people I call good people. <laughs> Not the extreme edges. But oh, there's a lot of good people out there. A lot of people training. A lot of people equipping. A lot of people getting ready for what they know, what we know, what I know, is going to happen. This is just crazy. This blows my mind that that happened. I got a text from my tribe yesterday about that. And I immediately knew, because I'm not stupid, what the agenda behind that was. Legitimate criminal activity or not. <laughs> Seriously, they don't care about legitimate criminal activity. They haven't for a long time. All they are is the SS stormtrooper arm of the DNC. That's all they are. Bunch of scumbag traitors that won't abide by or stand up for the Constitution that they swore an oath to. And I'll tell you what. If they step it up a notch and start, raid, start performing raids all over the place, it's going to get ugly. 
it's going to get bloody real quick. And like I said, I'm not advocating this. I'm not wanting this to happen. I'm just stating the fact if they go around and start raiding people, um, yeah, people aren't going to be happy about that. And people will do, do something about it. And that will help polarize the other the side that they're going against for further action. I think it's a push. I think it is. I think it's a push for civil war. They want us to start it. They want they think of us as a bunch of violent, crazy, hillbilly, redneck idiots that don't have any intelligence. They look at us as just deplorable scumbags, which we're not. A lot of very smart people, a lot of very well-trained people and groups. So make sure you're forming groups, make sure you're training, make sure you're adding people to your groups. Just make sure they're not any of those SS agents involved. Not that you have anything to worry about because we're not breaking any laws. But you know, they'll find something, they'll plant something. That's what people ask, what did they find at, at his residence? Well, whatever they placed it, whatever they placed there, they found. So anyway, keep up the good fight, people. Stay strong. Keep on prepping. I love you guys. Subscribe, comment below, share the videos, do those things. Have a wonderful day and blessings to you and yours.